Hi everyone, I am using here a black watercolor paper and this is 100% cotton. This is the only watercolor paper black that's 100% cotton. If you use regular transparent watercolors, you do need to make them opaque so you can see them actually on that surface of a black watercolor paper. Yes, you can paint with transparent watercolors, but you need to add some white. It's okay to use regular transparent white, but I prefer to use opaque white, which is gouache. And I use the gouache by Holbein and the color is permanent white, which is the most opaque. Some watercolors naturally are more opaque, so if you do know which colors are those, then they will for sure show more on your black watercolor paper. So keep that in mind. Now these are the art supplies that I used in this painting. And I already mentioned Holbein gouache. Then I also used quinacridone red. And for the brushes, there's the round eight. So this brush is not available currently on the market, but any round eight or six brush will work. And then rigor two. So you want to have a rigor brush to paint like these pieces. So those kind of legs, whatever that is. And then mini mop one eight. So that's the size, and this is Velvet Touch Series by Princeton. So mini mop brush to splatter some of the paint. And the paper, it's the black watercolor paper, Stonehenge Aqua. If you would like to watch a full video tutorial with voiceover for this painting, please go to Patreon, www.patreon.com slash mariamorjane. You will find a lot more voiceovers over there. So full video tutorials with a voiceover where I talk through the entire time.